Hey there, it's Dr. Jim. I hope you're doing really well. And thank you for uh, taking some time out of your very busy schedule uh, to learn about what's been on my mind. And a lot has been on my mind. I am constantly creating content and getting it online at collinslearning.com and ceu.academy. I am constantly uh, looking into the science behind CBD and its many health benefits. Um, and I've been writing like a, a mad person recently. Well, not recently. I guess I, I'm always doing that. But I have some really good information to share with you as a gerontologist. Um, one of my goals in my career is to train healthcare professionals how to take care of individuals diagnosed with neurodegenerative disorders. Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, Huntington's, ALS, multiple sclerosis, and more. And also to find better ways of treating them, not always with medication, but with um, behavioral interventions and supportive environmental interventions, and of course, CBD. And... Um, I have found some really good information on CBD and behavioral disturbances in particular uh, that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so let me share with you what I have discovered most recently in science. As we know, Alzheimer's disease, it's incurable, it's irreversible, it's progressive, it's neurodegenerative. And it does account for between 60 to 80% of all dementia cases around the world. And in the United States, 13.8 million people are going to develop Alzheimer's disease by the year 2050. And that is not that far off into the future. And the majority of those individuals are going to experience a range of neuropsychiatric symptoms. These are troubling symptoms that I'm going to get into. And the takeaway from this short video with you is there are no FDA approved drugs for the neuropsychiatric symptoms that are common among people with Alzheimer's disease. Okay. I'm hoping lots of experts out there are hoping that science will develop a CBD-based medication or treatment to naturally and safely treat these symptoms, okay? So what are the neuropsychiatric symptoms of Alzheimer's? Well, these types of symptoms affect almost 97% of people diagnosed with Alzheimer's sometimes during the course of their illness. We might as well say all of them, 100%. What's the difference between 97 and 100? Not that much. These symptoms include things like anxiety, aggression, restlessness, agitation, and combativeness. So there's some violence, high stress, anxiety, and these can lead to, of course, things like greater caregiver burnout and families seeking nursing home placement sooner versus they didn't exist at all. Anxiety and agitation alone affect between 25 to 70 percent of people with Alzheimer's. So it affects the vast majority. There's no doubt about that. Current treatments, like I said in the beginning, currently there are no FDA approved medications that treat the neuropsychiatric symptoms accompanying the disorder. Off label, this is important. Lots of meds are used off-label, which means that they're not meant for those specific disorders or diagnoses. So off-label antipsychotic drugs are used and include an FDA warning, that's called the black box, of possible death due to the use of the antipsychotic drugs, as there have been increases in mortality among this population due to the use of these drugs. That is one hell of a side effect. It's a terrible side effect and a terrible risk. 
But then we could get into the ethics and debate, well, what else do we have? What else can we do? Quality of life situations. Other treatments include various behavioral therapies that are time intensive and must be provided by healthcare professionals who have been trained in those techniques. So it's obvious that a safe and efficacious treatment is sorely needed for people who are diagnosed with Alzheimer's and have these neuropsychiatric disturbances. Now, how does it work? This is really interesting. Uh, don't, don't, don't glaze over on me here, okay? Cannabidiol or CBD has been found to have modifying effects within our endocannabinoid system. The analogy that I use many, many times is CBD is like a key that unlocks the endocannabinoid system's ability and potential to regulate major systems of the body and the brain and to bring homeostasis or balance to these systems. And we're talking about at cellular levels, organ levels, systems levels, neurotransmitters, and so on. Specifically, check this out. CBD is thought to moderate effects of the 5-HT serotogenetic system, mu opioid receptors, and TRPV1 and TRPV2 receptors. So what? Well, all of these help to do some very important things for us and for people who have Alzheimer's and neuropsychiatric disorders. They all help to regulate mood, anxiety, and depression, and may play an important role in protecting brain cells from dying due to the process of Alzheimer's disease. That is massive. That is key. It's also known to have neuroprotective properties, CBD, as well as the ability to reduce tau hyperphosphorylization, a hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease. Really important stuff here. Let me share with you my final thoughts, okay? And I've got the article if you want to read it online. Uh, most of you will just watch the video and check it out. And please share this with your friends family, colleagues, my final thoughts. Alzheimer's has been called the disease of the 21st century and for very obvious reasons. It's the leading cause of dementia. It affects millions of people around the world. It's incurable. It's progressive. It's associated with a number of very troublesome behavioral symptoms that cause early admission into nursing homes, and caregiver burnout and burden. Since there currently are no FDA-approved medications right now, scientists are working to find a CBD-based treatment that might reduce these symptoms, keep people with Alzheimer's home longer and out of nursing homes, and to finally reduce the heavy burden placed on caregivers. I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Visit me. Stay in touch with me. Jim at sapphire-essentials.com is my email, but I'm all over the place. CollinsLearning.com, C-E-U dot academy. So check them out. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. And I'd like to show you my new book, Living Longer and Stronger with CBD. It took me about a year and a half to write as I scanned hundreds of articles in prestigious journals, peer-reviewed medical studies, examining the effects of CBD for various physical conditions, emotional and mental issues, and neurodegenerative conditions. And I condensed all of those findings into one book. I believe that there's something in here for everyone. So if you're interested, follow the link to the book on Amazon. Thank you so much.